I, I remember when I was when I was almost seventeen. I I had a another girl that I was interested in had moved to my town, and her father had been in radio in Philadelphia, and he was a big time DJ at Wibbage W I B G, and uh, his radio station was involved in bringing the Beatles to Philadelphia in September of '64, their second tour of '64. And I interviewed him when I was at WABE back in 2014 on the anniversary, the 50th anniversary of that concert. And he's well into his 80s. And uh, he told me the story of how the Beatles got into Philadelphia. They were so worried about security. And Frank Rizzo, who later became mayor, was the police chief at the time in Philly. And the Beatles were coming in from uh, Atlantic City in New Jersey. They played there the night before. And they're going to drive across Jersey into Philly. And everybody in Philadelphia knew they were coming and knew the route they were going to be on. And so the police were very concerned about the safety of the Beatles in these limousines. So they went out to the edge of town. And as the limos are coming in, by prearrangement, they got the Beatles out of the limos and put them in a fish truck and drove them into town in a fish truck to the hotel they were staying at, which is right next to the convention center where the concert was going to be. And the limos came in, and everybody thought the Beatles were in the in the limousines, when in fact they'd snuck them in the back door in this old truck. And I just thought, gosh, that was, that was just fascinating to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and his daughter um, presented the key to the city to them, and she had a photograph of herself with all four of them at this press conference. She's standing on a chair because she was like nine or ten at the time. And, uh, and I remember she showed me that photograph, and I was just like, you've met the Beatles. You've got their, and she had all their autographs and uh, photos to prove it. And I'm like, and I interviewed her too after I interviewed her dad. And, yeah. And she recounted the story. About yeah, it. I remember us talking about that yeah. back then. But yeah. yeah, that's 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 very cool. I mean, that's, you know, what do you, it, it, there's only certain people, there's only certain things that are special. That's what makes them special. And obviously the Beatles for whatever, it, in 2000 through 2010, the number best-selling album that decade was the one album, the Beatles' yep. number one. And, you know, that's probably not going to happen with a band that's big today, 50 years from now. Some may, some will survive. I think Garth Brooks and uh, some of the, maybe Beyonce and a couple others that are currently big or have been big for a little bit, 50 years from now. But you're probably going to be able to count on one hand and have a finger or two left over. 50 years from now, if you compared, you know, will someone be like the Beatles 50 years from now and have that same popularity that they have now? Yeah, in relation to the population, no. And when you look at, I think you had mentioned earlier, when you look at the number of people who tuned into Ed Sullivan, uh, at least on the first night that they played, um, 73 million people is just under half the American population. It was about 170, 180 million people at that time. And you got to when you think about the number of TV sets in the country, the percentage of people who had television sets who were watching was, was probably over 90%. And that's to get the entire nation to do the same thing on the same day at the same time. Uh, Doesn't happen that often. No. I, I, you get everybody, to, get everybody to vote on the same day, perhaps, or a lot of people to vote, or turn their taxes in, perhaps. <laughs> well, yeah, that one, yeah. <laughs> or, you know... Okay, yeah, they're watching the Super Bowl now, but... Yeah. And also, I mean, you can also say, well, there was only three stations then, so if you were watching TV, you only had, you know, one, two, or three to choose from, and so that might be a little bit, you know... Yeah. No, we, we had two. We had... There was no ABC. We had CBS, which was Ed Sullivan, I believe, and, and NBC, and that was it. And uh, no cable. It was all... It wasn't crystal clear picture. You had rabbit ears or an antenna on your roof, and it was black and white. <laughs> and remember you put uh, aluminum foil on the antenna to help yeah. with the reception? I remember that, too. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, real quick, whenever you saw that, co like you said, you, when you saw that cover the first time and all that color and all those mustaches and all that crazy stuff in the background, did that kind of say, oh, my goodness. Yeah, and we spent hours, my yeah. friends and I, going, well, they, okay, there's Marilyn Monroe, and there's Adam Clayton Powell, and there's, uh, there's Edgar Allan Poe, and there's... Uh, W.C. Fields. W.C. Fields, and, and, uh, and there's the, the old Beatles... And, and there's the doll. Welcome the Rolling Stones. Uh, Stu Sutcliffe. Did you ever see him there? Uh, probably. Bob Dylan's Bob up there Dylan, in the corner. Yeah. And then on the back, this is something else. The lyrics yeah. of all the songs. This, I don't think any Beatles album prior to this had lyrics on it. 
I, I could be wrong, but that might be the first time yeah. lyrics ever by yeah. anybody. Rock band, pop band, yeah. rock band. And if you open up the sleeve, and it's stereo. She gave it to me in stereo, and ah. it was available in mono, and this is the first stereo album I owned. And, um, but if you open the sleeve, and this is like going back in time, too. This sleeve, I've been reinforced it with tape and everything, but you can see other Beatles albums on the Capitol catalog, and this Judy Garland, and this Jackie Gleason, and Al Martino, and The Letterman, and, you know, and you flip it over, and there's Tennessee Ernie Ford, Nat King Cole. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Capital 66. Sounds great. Anyway. Yeah. So. All right. Anything else? No. That's great.